Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, someone took 30. Oh, Harlequin took 30. Well, it's a good thing you healed him. Yes! Nice. Overwatched. Completely destroyed in Overwatch. Just demolished. Beautiful. Let's see. Yeah, you can cast heal. All right, cool. Remember, it's it's your last, the last damage you took is what it restores. So he's got that gives him thirty back. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, the way the heal, the way the heal, the way the healing magic mechanic works is a little different from most games. It's interesting. Like I said, it's, it's interesting because you can't just like stay in, in, stay put and just pour heals into yourself until it's as if the fight didn't happen. Yeah. Which I like. Alright, killed it. Killed one. I killed both of them? Yeah. Alright, you Overwatch. You just wander off by yourself in this area, why not? <laughs> Ow. Oh, damn it, no AP damage. Oh, yeah, Overwatch should hit. All right, another spirit down. Nicely done. <clears throat> Missed. Shit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna have him cast aim on my sp. Oh, I can't hit him. Shit. All right. Okay, sp I'm gonna have, have this guy. Ah, shit. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Reload. Confirm. Let's see. Fire. Yeah! Two, a twofer. Nice. Alright, Lux turning my way now. Alright, Coyote just stays stay there for a minute. You reload and then return to Flandry's side. Reload. And advance. And hope there aren't even more. And stride. Speaking of striding, have you seen the the uh, the new uh, Strider game? The yeah, the one released last year. Yeah. Yeah. My 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 friend uh, downloaded the PS4 the demo of the PS4 version the other night. It looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. One thing I've learned, it's, if, it's it's always ominous when you're in the last stage and suddenly there's like a giant bridge over a chasm. <laughs> right, Coyote's going to use the, use the med kit on yourself there. 25. All right. said moments before an insect, you know, <laughs> eviscerated him. <laughs> remember what remember what happened when I said noted when I commented on luck going my way. Yeah. Door, 
Oh, that door's locked. Oh, uh-oh. Brotherhood followers. Ooh, 30 damage. Oh, that guy's got a sword, too. Huh. Harlequin sees him with his sword. He's like, oh, how adorable. <laughs> Overwatch. Oh, I took a... He took a pounding there. Yeah. Wounded 20. Yeah, heal yourself. Well, they've proved unexpectedly efficacious. All right, Guardian drone, activate. And here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Watch, Watch out, out boy! Shoot. <laughs> He'll shoot you up. Useless. There we go. <laughs> okay, a whole bunch of uh, stuff here, it looks like. Open this up. High explosive fossil grenades into your stash. This is that, you know... Uh-oh, the game is suddenly being really generous with healing stuff. That can't be good. A boss fountain. Yeah. Right, premium med kit. Huh? Oh, a locked safe that has both a card reader and de data jack. Decking five. Hack the safe's lock. No. No luck. Ah, well. Let's see what this console does. Ah, door's unlocked. Way is open. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's the that's the exit of this area. Hmm. Exit this character from the scene. quite the battle. The Bug Shaman. A rhythmic thrumming punctuates the air, passing through you, vibrating your lungs and your chest, and making it hard to breathe. It's an electricity that makes the hair on your skin stand up in protest. Ahead, you hear the sounds of chanting, accented by the moist rigoring of larvae. Ugh. Yeah. There are, ro there are low rumbles, too, stone on stone. The sense of imminence is everywhere. Something is coming, and it has to be stopped. Okay. Oh, we're actually not in uh, battle mode. Actually, we're. Can I, oh, I can spend this 15 karma. Hmm. Spend Karma 15. Oh, it actually occurs to me if I'd spent that Karma before, I could have I could have had that five decking. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Let's see here. Ah well. Let's quick and quicken myself. Dodge and oh, 
Well, I've got those med kits. Why not? Biotech one. <laughs> Biotech two. And throwing weapons one. Even though I don't have the AP to throw grenades, because that takes two, usually. Oh, this is another unpleasant, thoroughly unpleasant looking corridor. And... Uh-oh! Look who's there! A pair of familiar faces. Hmm. This is really turning into a Contra level. <laughs> uh, ah, there is, there's old Jessica Watts. Jessica appears to be in the throes of a violent trance or mild seizure. A manic state brought on by the terrible energy she is attempting to conduct. Flandry, stop! The Queen approaches! The vessel! The summoning! We cannot be disturbed! Spock! <laughs> there is no vessel, and there will be no queen. Uh, Lynn Telestrian. Jessica's eyes roll back in her head. Whatever magic she is channeling is fast approaching a crescendo. Lynn speaks in her place. You may have taken Marie Louise, our chosen, but another Telestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. I will be host to our queen, and the mother of a new world. You'll be the mother of a dead world! Harlequin still sports a wry smile. <laughs> uh, on the plus side, a billion creepy, crawly children makes for one hell of a Mother's Day. <laughs> See that? You know, that's, that's Harlequin. He always, he always finds the bright side of things. Exactly. A ever the optimist. Lynn, to lesbian. No! I will become a perfect being. Through me and through my sacrifice, a new age will begin. Jessica. When Jessica speaks next, her eyes have a disturbing sharpness. Her words are echoed by Lynn in a manner that suggests a connection beyond their shared zealotry. The Hive has no thought beyond hunger, no goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Hmm. Oh, listen, Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? It seems to throw her off. What? You said it yourself. Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. Vile appetites! Appetites he couldn't control, and he died for them. Because I willed it. Yes, but why? There was more to it than just your mother. The hum of magical energy permeating the room seems to quiet. She's listening. You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. The Brotherhood, they... They were a family to me. Yes, and they had already freed you from your old life. So why come back? Why kill Sam? She falters. I... Had to. For what he did. For what he had become. You said Sam represented a sickness in the world. But I think he represented the sickness in you. You're trying to... Confuse me. You saw wrongness in yourself, and you projected it onto Sam. No, I... he... He was your brother, Jessica. Your twin. Don't you see? Jessica falls quiet. She bows her head. I... I'm sorry. But there's no turning back. I cannot undo what's been done. And I can't stop what's to come. Jessica's body then suddenly spasms arching her back and nearly lifting her off her feet. She lets loose a scream, falling somewhere between elation and agony. The queen is near! 